this game sucks. Dude, this game sucks. Shut up. It's awesome. Really? Really? That, no, that's, that's it. I'm done. Uh, dude, you did not install this to my hard drive. Dude, that's in the past now. We need to move forward. Uh, uh, what crap did you want to play again? Take your pick of awesomeness. Actually, no, you don't deserve these. These are classics. Man, I don't want to play those old busted games anyway. Midway is the new hotness. Don't you mean NetherRealm Studios? What? What? Hmm? Before I was rudely interrupted, I was going to say that your taste in versus games isn't very good at all. It's really bad. Just, just awful. Everyone makes fun of you, by the way. It shits. I'm on the clock right now. Mankind will never know just how deep your stupid hole goes. Mortal Kombat vs. the DC Universe is the greatest crossover ever, and if Midway made a game with Street Fighter characters in it, it would be better than ever they've ever been ever! Kill yourself. I ain't going anywhere until you admit that I'm righter than ever. Then will you kill yourself? Probably. But if I prove myself that I'm right, then you have to admit that I was right. Okay, no, wait, can't I just kill myself? No! Fine! I can prove to you that Mortal Kombat vs. Street Fighter made here in American soil would be the tits. With a blood, gore, a block button, and also tits. I can do it myself. I love all of those things. Dude, Mortal Kombat vs. Street Fighter is like the unlegend. It's the never game. The Moby Dick of the fighting game world. It takes time, planning, Blood, sweat, at least a couple lawsuits. I mean, help. I could design it, but you can't just slap that together in a weekend. Watch me! These are two completely different companies with completely different cultural backgrounds and practically opposing schools of thought. Can't we just decide to put aside our differences? Can't we just work together towards the common goal of making a fake game that will never, ever happen? Yes. Yes, we can. Breakdown! Number one, story. Shadowloo opens up a portal. No, Gil's Illuminati from Third Strike does, because being mystical and opening up rifts is like part of their mandate. Then Shadowloo points the Psycho Drive at it, and it detects that Outworld's fighting energy is mad OP. The Illuminati loses control of the power they've now unleashed on the Street Fighter world. Fighting ensues. Done. Number two, systems. No matter how much everyone cries and begs, Chun Li's head is not getting ripped off anytime soon. Do you remember Def Jam Fight for New York? Yup. Remember Blazing Moves? Yup. Oh. Those were awesome. They were brutally painful, and they had that oh factor that captures the point of a fatality. None of them involved exploding organs or face melting. Totally! And besides, Street Fighter characters die all the time. They, they just don't. Uh, explain. Dude, have you seen the spending power driver lately? Your vertebrae is ground to dust, your neck is snapped in half, and you have at least 11 punctured lungs. Perfect. Brutal, over-the-top, bone-breaking moves that KO your opponent at worst, and paralyze at best. But Ryu would never attack a defenseless policeman. So make them special combo finishers for the end of the round. 
Like Holy Order of Soul and his destroy move in Guilty Gear X. That makes for a sweet, dramatic finish. Number three, button layout. Six buttons all the way. What's the point of a block button again? None. Block buttons kill cross-ups. Cross-ups rule. When we're talking 2D fighters, cross-ups are the most important thing ever. They're, they're not really. But anyway, give them a special defense input on two mediums. Make it a dodge or make it a parry. But that stuff's gotta be with punishment. Number four, movement. Street Fighter characters must dash and back dash. MK characters will run, but can't block or cancel the run until committing to at least a certain distance. Yo, this guy knows the deal. Number five, roster. We can all sit around picking our favorite characters while braiding each other's hair. Or we can just tell you what needs to be there. Take it or leave it. You're getting the eight world warriors, the four heavenly kings, and everyone from MK2. Y'all can waste your time bickering over the rest. Number six, stages. Do it with classic Street Fighter and MK stages. Seven extras. MK9 Challenge Tower, check! Test your might, check! Dude, remember those critical finishes from earlier? Yeah. Imagine how sweet it would be if there were secret finishers where your character does a move from the opposite cast. That's cray cray! Shao Kahn does a bread and butter combo into a hammer swing that KOs the opponent, but then if you do the right input, he starts glowing purple and does a Psycho Crusher. Yes! Or like Dallison does Scorpion's Toasty. Johnny Cage does Dan's Super Taunt. Man, forget babalities and friendships. Number eight, how you announce it. Here's how you announce it. Have a Captivate event. Ed Boon immediately walks out on stage. Twitter goes down for 72 hours. Done. Done. Yeah. Done. Yep. I'd say we nailed it. I'd say we nailed it too. Good job, man. Yeah, thank you. Oh wait, dude, what about the Baz? Oh, well he's behind the whole thing all along. You mean that, that surge in fighting potential? It was him by himself? He's that powerful? Oh, dude, you don't even know. <laughs> I feel kind of stupid now. I even brought this thing along and we don't even need it. Like, what is it? I reached out to James Goddard, the creator of Weapon Lord and former SF2 staffer, since he's a veteran combat designer. You know, he told me to get the hell away from him, but before that, he did FedEx me his thoughts on how Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter should go down. Well, let's read it. Okay, well, sure. But to paraphrase him... Development. He says it should be Eastern built, but with heavy Western presence on the Mortal Kombat side. Systems. Let both sides play exactly as we know them, but flavored by the merge of systems. Don't shoot for the middle. It has to be extreme. Engine. The engine should loosen and adjust important things like chains, natural combos, juggles, command inputs, footsies, and jump heights to make sure that both sides flow competitively for crossover players. Controls. For controls, Street Fighter characters would be six buttons, but MK characters would have their four buttons and a block button, as well as an additional button. This should feel like a clash of systems. Juggles. Street Fighters should be mostly grounded, but can juggle you, while MK Fighters should have way better juggling, but have to compete with really strong Street Fighter footsies. Fatalities. Don't compromise. MK characters can just do their own kill moves, but Street Fighter characters can also do a special move that has an over-the-top result. Add the option to combo into the finisher. But sadly, this point is precisely why the game will never happen. And the list just keeps going. We barely scratched the surface. We didn't think about this at all. I knew you didn't think it through, but... Like, I thought I really nailed it this time. Let's never discuss this again. What do you want, Billy? Jesus Christ, we don't even want to know! Just get out! <laughs>